Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Beauty Baron here, and in today's video, we are going to do an entire Tier 3 challenge. So this is going to bring in every Tier 3 piece of equipment that we have to try to help you guys to be able to understand how to use the Tier 3 equipment, what's the best practices, tips, and tricks, that kind of thing. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a like, share it with a friend. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to go to Ridge View Court. We've got it on nightmare mode, so we're going to get two pieces of evidence. Uh, and, um, yeah, we've got the tier three equipment. So we are tier three out of our mind. Let's take a look. Right, Justin Sherman. We need to escape during a hunt. We need an EMF read, and we need to witness a ghost event. Yeah. All right. Flashlight. Camera. EMF reader. Happy birthday, Shabazz hold you to it as long as I'm awake. Fair enough. We're going to say it's a Yuri. Might be. First things first, we got to find the ghost room, find the bone, find the cursed object. That's what we always want to try to do. Ah, we got Ouija board. Nice. Now we can leverage the Ouija board to help us the one that goes to find boom, out boom, 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 boom. to find out. Ooh, you hear the little girl laughing? You might not. BG Rybot decided to use his channel point command. Okay. Good chat. Is it giggling? Was it up here? I heard it. I heard it over here. No, you're totally fine, BG. Uh, aha. Okay. So, first things first, right? Oh, we got EMF5. Perfect. So the, the way that the EMF reader works here is that it's going to give you the how far away you are, what EMF level it is, and what direction you're going towards. So as you can see here, it did two door touches, and it said, hey, right here, we should be able to look. We get an interaction on the door, and then we also had another interaction over here. But as we move away from it, you'll see that that's where we need to go. It can track up to three objects at one time as well. So that's definitely helpful. We figured out where that is. I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna find the bone. The child was the one that really goes beep, boop, 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 beep. Uh, the tier three camera is really useful too because it's the fastest, like, I'm gonna say refresh rate for as far as taking photos. So it's super fast for as far as taking the photos is concerned. Apart from that, they all basically work the same. Tier 3 flashlight is obviously is going to give you the most amount of light oh, possible. Yeah? Mel Brooks, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's see. Ah, here's the bone. We got the power on. Nice. Perfect. Now we're going to head out. So we know where it is. We know it's in that bathroom. It's in the bathroom and it's in the little boy's room right next to it. Maybe it could be moved over there. Uh, we're going to drop this stuff off. Never take anything back with you to the van, right? Even if you don't necessarily need it when you come back, by still having it out there, it's still way better than bringing it out here. That way you never run into the issue of having to... Uh, uh, never run into the issue of having to go back out to the van to grab something that you originally brought in. I used to do that a lot when I first started playing. There we go. Kaylin, thank you for sharing the live. So confused when I first got the tier three stuff. Yeah, tier three stuff can be confusing. So with the with the camera here, you can right click to get night vision mode or regular vision. So I like to run with night vision. Right? It is touching the door quite a bit, and it is tapping on this window. So I'm gonna assume that it's in here. What we want to do is we want to kind of set up. I'm throwing a lot of stuff in here. Set up the camera to kind of give me like a, as much of the room that I can see as possible. And then I like to set up the dots behind it. So this dots is going to move side to side, back and forth. Right? And it's going to cover over the room. Another thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the tier three book onto the toilet. I'll show you why. When we leave and we go back and we take a look at, at the camera and we take a look where it's at. We'll be able to tell in the van if there is ghost riding or say you're playing with friends and somebody is watching the cameras. They'll be able to tell from the camera that it's ghost riding because they'll see it on the camera. So you can see down there at the bottom, you can see the camera. 
or you can see the ghost writing book. So if the ghost does decide to write in it, it'll lift it up off the toilet seat, it'll write in it, and then it'll set it back down. So that's a way that you'd be able to tell. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, we got dots. So that's what dots looks like. So we've got dots and we've got EMF5. So Wraith, Onryo, could be, or Wraith, Oni, Gorio, Raiju. If it's another Gorio, I'm going to be pissed. Tier 3 Salt, really good uh, for slowing down the ghost during a hunt. Also, I'm going to bring in the headset here. This is arguably one of the most powerful items that you can get as a Tier 3. And the reason for it is, is because this gives us, if you hold down T on your keyboard, this allows you to have night vision mode. So, like, even in the dark, now we can carry three objects and still be able to see, which is huge. With... Uh, with the salt, there's two ways that you can do this, right? One way is that we could set it up to where you could say, okay, it's going to maybe hunt. So we're going to we're gonna set this off like, like so. To where as it runs through it, it would slow it down considerably during a hunt. Or you can do it the other way, and we can just set it all in the same location. Right? It moved the ghost book, so it's definitely not that. It stepped through the salt. Right? So we got three salt photos we can take. And then once it steps in that one, we'll get six salt photos. So it's the easiest way. Night vision on is... Uh, while the night vision is on, it counts as an electronic. Yes. Yep. You have to turn off the night vision uh, during a hunt. Otherwise, it will sense you. So we're going to go one, two, three... We're going to rule out a wraith. So there we go, right? We got perfect perfect across the board. I got two more photos I can take plus the ghost photo. Now, what we can do is we can wait and see if this is going to show up in person. Or uh, see if we're going to see dots on this. So I'm going to go one, two, because I know I can get two more photos there. I'm going to actually, before we do that, I'm going to leave. I'm going to grab the tier three crucifix because we're going to be hanging out in the dark and I'm going to grab the other dots. Uh, will you see the dots? I think you can still see the dot. You can see UV with the, uh, with the night vision on. I don't know if you can see the dots or not. I'll be honest. I've never tried it, so I don't know. Now, if it is an Oni, Onis will never do the hiss event at you. So that's a unique identifier for the Oni. Also, during the hunt, it will also be much more visible than what other ghosts are. So that's another thing to look out for. Gorios will only you will only ever see dots um, from the camera. You will never see it like in person. So if it is that, then we'll be able to uniquely identify that. And Raiju's move faster around electronic pieces of equipment. So if it's near a piece of equipment, it'll move much faster. So that's why I'm bringing in the crucifix, just so that way we don't get caught out. And still be seeing the night vision goggles and not a Gorio, though. Right. Okay. So we're going to put that in there, and then I'll put this other one. Now, you can put down the crucifix. See how large the, the Tier 3 crucifix is? You can kind of see that line out in the distance, right, that it's forming. That's forming a gigantic circle. So what we want to do is, is we want to kind of get an idea of like, okay, if it's over there, I can put one like here and it's going to cover basically this entire hallway and we wouldn't even need to worry about it. Now, what I like to do when I have the tier one dots, because I know that it starts from left and works its way right. Oh, we saw it in person. It's not a Gorio. That's perfect for us. And we saw it with the night vision goggles on. So that's even better for everybody else to be able to see that. But what I will do is, is I will have the dots facing opposite ends of one another. That way, as they both, if they're both turning, you know, right to left, they're basically going to be going against one another. And so it gives you a much broader brush of the entire area. Oh, I ruled out Oni. I need to rule out Goryeo. And it already has tried to hunt from this location. So that's good for us in a way. Kind of bad, but it could be good. 
I'm gonna go back out. We're gonna take some sanity just so that I can try to get the photo. Then we will get it into a hunt. I will show you the unique identifiers for whatever ghost we are dealing with and how to deal with it during a hunt. Also, I'll show you guys some cool hiding places that you can go to. Probably an Oni, probably. We'll see, we'll see though. Uh, we, we've got the tier three smudge. So we'll bring that in as well. I broke my own gardener wool. See, if I didn't bring in the cam, if I didn't take out the camera, we could have brought in two smudges. Michelle, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, threw the ball. Okay. So you can get the ghost photo off of the dots photo. Off of a dots photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to hang around here. My sanity is up, so we got plenty of sanity to be able to work with. Uh, and we're going to wait to... Well, we can get that photo as well. Wait, did it just... What? I am so confused. We was robbed. 911, once your emergency. I was robbed. That honestly might be a glitch right now. I know Timetail was having issues with that. Uh, Jagger FN, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Welcome in, Jagger. Nordic Jax, thank you for the follow. Where's ghost? He's upstairs. Okay. So, since we're, you can get the ghost photo, uh, I honestly thought when I took the photo, because of the timing of it, I honestly thought that we had a phantom for some reason. I don't know why that the ghost event ended that quickly, because I didn't even move. Normally, like, if you do move, it would cause you to do that? Or it could do that, but... I don't know. I, uh, legitimately, I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay. So, we're going to get it to hunt. Like, okay, yeah, sure. Nothing is broken and loaded with features, right? <laughs> yeah, that, well, I mean, it could be a mimic mimicking a phantom, except we've got dots and we've got EMF 5, which completely rules out it being a, uh, being a phantom. Now, here's one thing that I don't recommend, right? Normally, I crouch walk a lot with a tier 3 smudge. I don't recommend doing that with these tier three smudges because it interacts with the floor and it makes it hard for you to be able to move. What's up, Otis? What else can I show you here? Uh, these are basically the same. Let's see. Bring in. Well, I'm going to bring in the spear box as well. Not that we need it, but I'll show you guys at least on how it works. So essentially. What you're looking for is two things here. One is you're looking for this mic input light to go on. So when I push this, when I push the push to talk, you'll see it pop up here. The other thing that we're looking for here is the response side with this line. So as I talk, it'll go, oh, you've been talking here. And then it goes, okay, was there a response? And it should come up as whether or not that it responded or not, which now it's not like working here. Hello? Where are you? And then see, you get the response. If it's red, that means that the game recognized you asked a question and the ghost did not respond. Right? If you don't get anything here, that means, but you're pushing the mic here, that might mean that there's something screwed up with your, with your, uh, mic, with your mic settings. It's a Catholic smudge for when you need the ghost to sit down, then stand back up, then kneel, then sit down, then stand back up. Yeah. They are not fooling around. Well, my day's going great. How is your Monday doing, Otis? So I'm going to put down the sound sensor here. I'm going to show you guys the sound sensor, and we can also show you guys the motion sensor. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the ghost room. Parabolic mic is about what you'd expect. It's a more sophisticated mic than what you are currently running with. It's going to be a lot easier for you to be able to see where stuff's at, but it also, if you notice... It also picks up like the dots. 
It'll pick up, like, fans. It'll pick up that kind of stuff, which does suck. But it is the most sophisticated. You know, you can pick up ghost ghost voices and stuff like that with it still. So it's basically you just point and click. Did it turn off the power on me again? It did. It turned off the light on me again. I had to jump out of Twitch, uh, so I had the right screen to what you were pointing to. Oh, I got you, Sig Psycho. So, when you're looking at the map, you'll notice there's two things here. One, that is our motion sensor. You can see the radius of it's being effective. Pro tip, put that inside of a doorway, or because it's a small enough room, right, we could get away with this here. But if not, I would have put it into a doorway. That way, if it walks through the door at all, then you you can get it right uh on the sound sensor side what you can do is that once you set it up you can actually use these buttons to adjust on how large if you notice on the right hand side with the uh if you notice over here if this is like it's turned off level one with the range Level two with the range, you can see it takes up pretty much the entire up top floor. And then level three is so large that even on this map, it takes up the entire top floor. So that's what you're going to, that's what you can use with the, uh, with the tier three sound sensor. Next, we've got the, uh, the thermometer. I'm not going to show you the, the UV flashlight partially because one, we're not going to get any flashlights. Uh, but then two. Um, it's the same as all the other flashlights. It's just an upgrade. Thermometers. Simply just going to work by simp uh, holding down the, the right-click button. And you're waiting for freezing temps. That's it. There's not anything else that really needs to be talked about on that side. Sm uh, the uh, uh, sanity medication. It's going to give you the most amount of sanity medication. As well as it's going to let you sprint for while you are listening to the heartbeat. So I'll show you that here again. I'll show you the difference. We'll turn back on the power. Right? So, now watch, listen for how fast that I run out of stamina, right? We're going to start from back here at this line. And if I run, okay, I make it to about the, the dining room table before I run out of breath, right? Before my sprint runs out. If I do the same thing, we start over here at the line and I take the sanity medication. Now I ran out. So if you need, not only can the sanity medication give you a boost, but it can also, it also just gives you more sanity back than the other ones. So remember that as well. Now, one thing that we can do. Yeah, it's, it's like 10. It's basically do it through for the duration that you're hearing the heartbeat. When you hear your own heartbeat, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the entire duration. I want to argue that stamina is too low, but I also die out. That also dies out too quickly. It is pretty, pretty slow or pretty low. But then again, I mean, it, you can run for it. All right. Pro tip thing that you can do with the Ouija board here as well is we can figure out EMF five from like the Ouija board. So every ghost question you ask, or every question you ask to the Ouija board, the ghost will lower your sanity by a certain percentage. So we wanted to ask it a question that we can get a response back, but it takes the least amount of sanity from us, right? Asking where the bone is and where the ghost room is will take 50% each. But if we ask uh, knock knock, see we can pick up, we can still get an EMF 5 reading from the ghost book. And that takes about 5% of my sanity every time we ask that question. 
So let's find out here. Let's pop this. Justin? Justin, how old are you? How old are you? Justin is 83. All right, Justin. Old man. Justin, how many poops have you taken in this house? You haven't taken any shits in this house. All right, Justin. How long have you been here? Been here for 10 years. 105 years. Justin, Justin, you're in the bathroom, Justin. You could have gone. Is that what you were trying to do? Or are you trying to take a poop? Or are you trying to use the bathroom? Or are you trying to go? Do you like peeps? Does not like peeps. Is it because you're backed up? What do you like to do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? How many pickles can you stick up your ass? Okay, Justin, that's a very quick zero. Is it because you're backed up? He did try to hunt us there. Right? Now, I think... I'm curious if the tier three uses will work here on this one. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. How many pineapples can you shove up your ass? How many pineapples can you stick up your butt? How many pineapples can you stick up your butt? Damn it, Justin. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How did you die? Mur mur mud mutter? You were murdered? Who murdered you? Who murdered you? Do you think I'm pretty? Do you like clapping cheeks? Hey, guess. Ooh, chat, this sounds like a rise you. See if you move slow. Okay, you can see the tier three smudge keeps them in place. Right? So we need to move them further away. I'm so gonna die. Jones Nick, thank you for the follow. I love cheeks, thank you for the follow. So that definitely feels like it is a... That's a Raiju there? I think that's it. It's time to go. Yeah, it's way too blingy to be an Oni. So Raijus will move faster around electronic equipment. So my flashlight was on, the EMF reader was on, all of those things were, were causing it to go off. What's up, new era panda? Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm here for the cookies and punch. I don't have either. Guess he didn't like the question. He didn't. But yeah, hopefully, so we can, we're still getting the upstairs hallway there. So you can turn off the, right? We can turn on the range to where it's tier level one, level two, level three. Right? So you could use the sound sensors to be able to narrow down where, where the ghost is. But hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it was informative for you guys. Uh, I think we got everything. Right, we got tier three, tier three photos across the board. We didn't get the ghost photo, but I think we just got robbed on that one. Well, yeah, but guys, if you like this, please give it a like, share it with a friend, comment down below uh, what what map you'd like for me to do next, or what challenge you'd like for me to tackle next. But you guys are loved, you are valued. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah. <laughs>